Hello everybody. Yes, I'm Jordan from Mobilio and no, I'm not going to show you a quick demonstration of the EA NA Coder because I have already done that. What I'm going to do today is rather special because I'm going to introduce you the functionality of this icon here with the small sprockets and the name Automator. Automator is a basic and very useful feature of all of our barcode generators. It can be simply described with three words, bulk barcode generation. For those of you who might be a little bit confused, I want to point out that our Automator has almost nothing to do with the built-in Automator in the Macintosh operating system. So let's get started. Imagine that you have three different EAN barcodes, but you don't want to enter them one at a time in the content text box and then export them. So what you can do is open the automator, hit the new button three times and have three empty boxes ready for you. Go to the first one, hit enter and enter your barcode. With this add-on for example. Then go to the second with no add-on and the third one with let's say this level. Okay, but what happens if you have a series of barcodes that share a similar pattern? For example, one at the same prefix. You can go to the add range, remove the suffix, enter your prefix, which could be for example this one, and let's say that our barcodes will be from 110 to 130 with step 5. And their add-on will be 75 Australian dollars. Hit OK and there they are, ready and generated instantly. If you notice that there is a mistake in one of them, you can modify them at any time. And you can also delete any of them. If you want, you can add new barcodes at the end of the list. Once your list of barcodes is ready, you can export it as a TXT file and save it for later usage, sharing purposes or even if you want, customizations of the list directly in the TXT file. Let's make this add-on 50,000 and the add-on next barcode 60,000. Save it, close it. Delete all the barcodes here and import the new ones. As you can see, they are changed and again ready for export. You can still modify them if you want, delete them or even add new ones. After your list of barcodes is full and does not need any more changes, you can choose the output file format, which by default is PNG, but I would suggest EPS or SVG, which are vector images. And the file naming scheme, I'm personally satisfied with the default one. And if you believe that all your barcodes are correct and won't give any error when generating, hit the generate button, choose a folder, and have all your barcodes generated not one at a time, but all at the same time working perfectly. Well, that's all for now guys. I hope that the video about the automator has been useful to you. However, if you still have some questions or requests connected with the automator, feel free to share them with us on our Facebook group, Twitter channel, G+, or simply in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.